For the last three months since I started my faceless YouTube channel, I have been constantly looking for AI tools I can use to create videos for my channel. And during this time I have tested and experimented multiple paid as well as free AI tools throughout the video making process from the script to the thumbnail so. Today I'm going to break down the AI tools that in my opinion are the best free ones for each part of the video making process. So you have a reference in case you're also looking to start a YouTube channel or are interested in creating engaging videos, thumbnails, or maybe creatives for your online shop or campaigns. Grab your notepad and get ready to save some time trying to find out what took me hours of investigation to realize. And believe me, I spent hours trying to figure this out. Without further redo, let's jump right in. First things first, the script. To create compelling and engaging video scripts that effectively convey the intended message and captivate the audience, you need to use the right tools. For this part of the process, you'll want to use the probably best known AI chatbot out there, ChatGPT. I am convinced to affirm that this is if not the best, one of the greatest tools that we have available nowadays to create great content. Yes, it is a life-saving gift of the modern world, right? ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence AI model developed by OpenAI and is designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. It can be used for multiple purposes like content inspiration, video editing ideas, investigation, content ideas, and of course, script writing. You just have to go to your web browser and type chat GPT and create an account by clicking in the sign up button. Once you have created your account, just use the message chat GPT box to type any kind of video script idea you might have, and the tool will do the magic. For example, I asked the tool to generate a script related to how people are making money with crypto coins and as you can see, it generated a really nice and structured script breaking it down by section including a hook, intro, content, call to action, and closing. Awesome, right? Copy and paste the script in a Google Docs and start editing the phrases you would like to change to make it more organic. I do not recommend copying and pasting the exact same script generated by ChatGPT as this will not feel original. It's always good to add your own touch to your scripts and creations. You don't want your content to look artificial and created by a machine, right? Alternative tools you can use for ChatGPT are for example Shortly AI and Wartoon. These are also great AI-powered writing tools that assist users in generating content quickly and efficiently. However, I recommend sticking with ChatGPT as in my opinion, this is the most complete and intelligent tool to create what you are looking for in a script. Once you're happy with the script and you have represented what you're intended to say in your video, it's time to move to the next phase of the process. Voice over. It's time to bring our script into life. For this we're going to use a text-to-speech AI tool. This applies in case you want to create a video for a faceless channel or also different types of content for social media like Instagram Reels, Facebook, TikTok, or even video promotion for your online shop. For this, my favorite platform is Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is one of the most popular AI voice generators and text-to-speech. It has multiple features you can use to customize the type of voice you want to have in your videos. From text to AI voice to having the ability to clone your voice with intonation features, you have everything you need to give a voice to your script. You just have to go to 11labs.io and create your own account. Type your script in this comments box and choose from the pre-generated voices to find the one that you like the most and click on generate. For the free license you will have a free quota with a number of credits you can use to generate more than one script. Then you can pay for the starter or creator license for a very small amount per month. Trust me, it will be worth the pennies. Alternative platforms you can use to generate voice from text are Muff and Speechify. These are also very popular text-to-speech AI generators that can also do a great job and can be used for free with limited credits. I personally recommend using Eleven Labs as this is in my opinion the most versatile one in terms of features and pre-generated voices. Okay, now that you have the voice for your video, it's time to pass to one of the most extensive but fun parts of the process. Video editing. When it comes to editing, you always want to find a tool that helps you transform your ideas and message into an impactful visual. However, sometimes it is difficult to find the right tool to match your expectations as well as easy to use, especially when you're starting as a content creator. After having tried multiple editing platforms, here's the one that I found most complete in terms of features and presets as well as friendly to use, CapCut. CapCut is a popular video editing application developed by ByteDance, the same company behind TikTok. 
CapCut provides users with a wide range of video editing features and tools to create and edit videos directly on their mobile devices as well as in their laptops. CapCut has everything you need to create the best videos and the best part is, it is free. I personally use the laptop version as it is more comfortable for me to edit my videos. In this platform you can find video effects and filters, audio effects, speed control, transitions, montages and slideshows, stock media, music, literally everything. You just have to download the CapCut version for Mac or Windows from Google and start a new project. Upload your AE roll and B roll in case you have it and start adding stock footage and videos, stickers, transitions, etc. Also, you can add audio from their music library. Disclosure. Be aware that some music in their library is not copyright free so you would like to use audio from other music libraries like Epidemic Sound, Artlist or just download music from the YouTube music library for free. I am going to make a more detailed tutorial on how to use Kappa in a future video. However, you can also search tutorials on YouTube and you'll find tons of them. Alternative platforms you can use for the video editing process are Clipchamp or others like DaVinci Resolve and Filmora. However, these have way more limited features in their free version than CupCut and you might need to use additional platforms to remove the watermarks. Okay, back to CapCut. Once you're happy with your video structure, audio, effects and everything looks like you imagined and dreamed it, it's time to export it and save it to move on to the next step. Thumbnail. Moving on to one of the most important phases of the video process is the thumbnail. This is like the cover that aims to attract your audience's attention. Think of it as the visual representation of your video that users see before they decide whether or not to click and watch. The thumbnail represents first impression, content relevance, brand recognition, competition in your niche, views, anyways. You got the point. Grab a cup of coffee, turn your phone into airplane mode and invest a decent amount of your time crafting your thumbnail. The platform I recommend using for this is Canva. Canva is a popular online graphic design platform that allows users to create a wide range of visual content, including social media graphics, presentations, logos, and of course, the thumbnail for your video. I use Canva for all of my thumbnails and I really love how easy and friendly to use the platform is. You just have to type canva.com in your browser and create your free account. I already use the pro license but you can perfectly use the free version and find templates and layouts, graphic elements, plug-in AI applications, audio library, and much more. I created most of my first thumbnails using the free version only and I think they look good. Hee hee hee. I decided to pay for the pro license to have access to additional templates and elements available in this version. In case you want to learn tips and tricks on how to use it and get more familiar with it, you can search for tutorials on YouTube and you'll find lots of them. Okay, that is the list of my favorite AI tools and platforms when it comes to creating the content I want to show to my audience in an easy way. Now you can post amazing looking content created with free AI tools only. I will continue to explore other AI tools to keep upgrading my skills. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button in case you want me to bring you more of these ideas for your video creation process. See you later, my friend.